Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I explain to you how to add additional hard disk virtual, to client computers, or to a specific user or specific group. For example this computer is a client computer, and has only one hard disk, and you want to add an additional virtual hard disk. So you can create an additional virtual hard disk, through the server and works like a primary hard drive. You must know the current user of this computer, on which you want to add the hard disk virtual. This user is called test1, after that move to the domain server, this server is running Windows Server 2022, the first step is to create a folder and share it, but with limited permissions, which we will get to know now. Create a new folder, and specify an appropriate name for this folder, for example hd for test1, then right click on the folder, and from menu click on properties. Then click on sharing tab, then click on advanced sharing button. Then check share this folder box, then apply button, and then click permissions button. Then remove every one of permissions, and then click on add button. Then type user account that you want to add virtual hard disk, user test1. Also add domain admin, so that the admin can fix anything for this folder. Then select full control, for both domain admin, and test1. Then click on apply button and OK. This is the first step, and the next step is to create a virtual hard disk, using this shared folder. Open the control panel. And from it click on administrative tools, then click on computer management. And after opening the computer management window, click on disk management on the left side. And you will notice that you have only one, hard disk called disk 0. And to create a virtual hard disk, right click on disk management, and from the menu click on create VHD. Then click on browse button, and locate the shared folder. This method will make shared folder work as hard drive. And enter a name for this virtual hard, before clicking on the save button, then select the hard disk space, for example 15 GB, then click on OK button, and wait for the virtual hard disk to be created. After completion, you will find an additional hard drive, called Disk1, which is 15 GB unallocated. Right click on Disk1, and from menu, click on Initialize Disk, then click on OK button. Now you can run, and partition new hard disk, right click on unallocated space, from menu click on new simple volume, and in the usual way create the partition, but I will create this hard into two partitions. Select the space you want, and follow the rest of the steps. In the same way, create the second partition. And after completion, right click on disk 1, and from menu click on detach VHD, to disconnect hard drive, and not show it on the server computer. Then click on the OK button, then close computer management, and this step is completed. The next step is to give permission to user test 1 on the virtual hard disk, right click on the hard disk and from there click on properties. And you will find that total space is already 15 GB. Then click on the security tab. Then click on the edit button, then click on add button, and add user named test1. Then specify the full control permission, so that this user can use the virtual hard drive, with unlimited permission. After that, I will create a patch file, to put it in the group policy to apply it directly to this user. To create a patch file, create a new text file. Then write the command that appears in front of you on the screen, and I will leave it to you in the description of the video. Then write the path of the shared folder, and the name of the virtual hard disk, and after the name of the virtual hard disk, don't forget .vhd. Then save text as a batch file, click save as, specify the location, and name of the file, and after the file name, type .bat. And immediately the patch file will be created on the desktop, 
and the next step is to put this patch on group policy and apply it to the user. Open the server manager dashboard, then click on tools menu from the top of the page, and from the menu click on group policy management. Then right click on group policy object, and from the menu click on new. Then in new GPO window, enter an appropriate name for this policy, and then click OK button. Then right click on GPO that was just created, and from the menu click on edit. This will open the group policy management editor window. Then from the left side, expand the folders, to access the path shown in front of you on the screen. Do not forget to make copies of the patch file that you created, because you will need to paste it in the policies applied to the client, so copy the file. Then double click on Logone, then click on Show Files button, to open specified location to put the batch files. And paste the file in this location. After that, click on Add button, and click on the Browse button, and you will find patch file in this location, add it, and then click on OK button. Then click on Apply and OK. Then I will link this policy with the organizational unit called test, and the user test1 is a member of this organizational unit. And close all open windows, and go to the client's computers, to try the new policy. Then open the command prompt, to type command to update group policy. After updating the group policy, if virtual hard disk is not displayed, restart the computer. It is assumed that immediately after logging in, computer will be asked for the domain password, to view the new changes. And it is to add a virtual hard disk, enter the username and password. Indeed, the additional virtual hard disk has already been shown directly, and you will not be asked after that for the admin password, to display the hard disk. And the domain user can use this hard disk, as if he is using a primary hard disk. You can apply this policy to each user separately, and not to more than one user at the same time. I hope the video is useful to you, and I thank you for watching. And I also hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.